Wow, I know you didn't see this one coming. Your boss has abruptly retired. Now, it should not be surprising to you and to everyone else that we're going through unprecedented challenges as a nation right now. And there's so many people who thought that they would have a long career in their role are rethinking what they want to do for the rest of their lives. And I'm reading story after story of CEO after CEO who are announcing retirements and they're not given an 18 month advance notice. They're not given a 12 month advance notice. Sometimes they're just given three months advance notice. And this is a person that you came to work for, the person that promoted you and put you in the position that you're in right now. You look up to them, they're a role model, but they're now going to retire. And so you're a little concerned about what that means for you. And you don't know what it could mean. Well, let me tell you what tends to happen when CEOs abruptly retire. Sometimes organizations go in a completely different direction. They may have loved the CEO. They may thought he or she was phenomenal, but now they want to go in a completely different direction. And that direction may not include you. Sometimes they might even say, you know what? You've come to the end of your run. We want to change out the whole leadership team. Or the worst scenario for me is when a new CEO comes in and he doesn't have any value for you, what you bring to the table, and all of the work that you've done before. And that means that before too long, the writing will be on the wall for you and you're going to be looking for the exit door. It happens every day. So if this is your circumstance, I want to give you a quick game plan of what you should do if your boss abruptly retires. The first thing is you need to go to HR. You need to go to human resources. And here's a question that you need to ask. Do we have a succession plan for the CEO of this organization? Now, you should hope that your HR department has been doing succession planning all along. But I know lots of organizations who haven't thought twice of what would happen if any executive much less the CEO decided to retire abruptly. And if they have a succession plan, then the next question is, am I in that succession plan? So you got to be ready for the big chair. I know you want it. And I think you would do a great job if you were in that big chair. So you got to ask the question, am I in the succession plan? Because that's going to tell you a whole lot. Did the organization think enough of you to include you into the succession plan and you just didn't know about it? Or maybe they didn't see you as a leader like that at all. So if they never saw you as a potential replacement for the CEO, then that's telling you that they don't think that you're leadership material, which takes me to the third thing is, what is your personal game plan for what happens next? You shouldn't keep your resume in a drawer and not ready to go. You should keep it updated every year. I've told you this before, keep your resume updated. You should always be taking courses and adding new skills as a part of your skill set, continuing to improve yourself as a leader. And guess what else you should have been doing if you haven't been doing it is networking at conferences. All of your professional conferences is where most people are going to find their next opportunity. And if you've been so busy doing the work, your head buried to the grindstone, trying to impress your CEO, trying to impress the leadership team that you work with every day, that you've never taken time to connect with colleagues who do the same job as you do in other organizations, you've missed an opportunity to prepare yourself for your succession plan, which may mean out, out the door to somewhere else. So those are three quick things that you should be doing if your CEO leaves abruptly. You should ask HR if they have a succession plan. If they do, then you need to ask, am I in the plan? If they don't have a succession plan, then you need to push them to develop a succession plan and make sure that you are a part of it. Let them know that you want to be the next CEO and that you're ready for that big chair. And if you don't get good vibes from either aspect of their plan or they're wanting to include you as a part of a succession planning process, then you better get to their next professional conference. I don't care if it's virtual or in person or on the other side of the country, you need to put it in your budget right now that you're gonna go network before that new CEO comes on or before that search process for the next CEO ends. You gotta connect with other people to find your next opportunity. If this is a challenge for you and you don't know what your next step may be on this process, I wanna encourage you to connect with me on LinkedIn at Anton J. Gunn. Follow me there, connect with me. 
and send me a message about you don't know what your next step is after your CEO is retired. And I will be happy to help you with a game plan of how we can get you in a place where you're not worried and what's going to happen when the other shoe drops. I want to thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.